Hey guys, today I filmed this, this. I mean like I, I literally, like I have to explain what you can see with your eyes. Like it's pink and wearable, but I hope you guys like this tutorial. I'm kind of trying to kind of behind out. So I hope you guys like this tutorial. And I'm gonna try and branch out and do a lot of more colorful looks because I never do. I'm a giant stay the samer. Stay the samer. <laughs> Fucking idiot. I always like to keep it neutral. I always like to do the same thing because I'm always at work and I'm always <sighs> making excuses about my life. But I'm always at work, and so I always feel like wearing a bright blue eye to work maybe wouldn't be appropriate, but you know what? Fuck it. Who cares? Like, legitimately, who fucking cares? Anyway, I will be doing more colorful looks for you guys, so if you guys would like to watch a tutorial about that, then just post in the comments. Let me know. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. It just lets me know what you guys like and what you guys want to see. And I will see you guys in my next video. So the products that I'm going to be using in this video are the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. I'm only using one of the colors out of here. And then for the rest of it, I'm going to be using my Coastal Scents 252 Palette. If you're looking for inexpensive eyeshadows that get the job done and you have a lot of color choices, go get this. It's like $25 max. Like, it's got three of these in there. 252 eyeshadows. I've been talking about this for like the last year that I've been on YouTube, but it's worth it guys, like if you're looking to get inexpensive eyeshadows and you like want to pick up the electric palette, but you're like, I can't do it, it's too expensive. Like there are, there are comparable colors in here to the electric palette, like there are, there just are. I mean, come on. I'm going to be working out of this palette today. The colors that I'm going to be using are this one, this one, and this one. And out of the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette, I will be using just this kind of transitional orangey kind of shade right here. Oh my god, it smells so good. And the rest of this will probably be a voiceover tutorial because I can't talk and do my makeup at the same time. So commence voiceover. I've already primed my eyes using the Milk, which is from the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. And I'm just taking a fluffy brush and using that sort of light beigey orange transitional shade from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. And I'm just using that on a fluffy brush and kind of blending it all over my eyelids above the crease so that it's going to be kind of what blends the pinkier shades in with my natural skin tone. And um, you can use any, I mean there's lots of like comparable shadows in the Coastal Scents palette. You don't have to use the Too Faced one. It just smells so good. I like it. Then I'm using the Zoeva Lux Soft Definer brush. Love this brush. And I'm putting it in that one. <laughs> What's that? I don't know. Anyway, and I'm just sort of blending that into the outer portions of the crease. And I'm pushing this one like directly into the crease and a tad bit above. And then you'll see as I go to darker and darker colors, I move further and further down to where I'm like a little more into the crease and then directly into the crease because this one's kind of the transition between that soft orange and this one. It, does that make sense? I don't, I don't feel like it does, but whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I suck today. Like I suck so much ass. And then I take the darker color and like I said, I'm putting this one a little further down into my crease so that it's actually in the crease. And then this next darker color that I use that's going to be on the um, little tapered luxe like petite crease brush, the darkest one that I use, um, it's going to be in like the actual crease. So I feel like I suck so much right now with this voiceover. This is ridiculous. Anyway, just put the color in the crease. You know, you can see what I'm doing. Just blend it, blend it, blend it, blend it. Everyone knows. Blend the shit out of it. And uh, here's the petite crease one. And I'm using the darkest color that I pointed out, and that is that one. And putting that kind of precisely right into the crease. Not necessarily like a cut crease, um, but you'll see as I flick it out towards the edge, you see I'm like flicking it out almost to make like a wing because I feel like that looks sexy as fuck. And maybe I'm wrong, whatever. You guys will be the judge of whether or not this totally sucks, but 
I like it. Like I like to have like sort of that line winging out at the top and then I kind of have my black liner when I do my wing liner, like following that line, but below it, it looks pretty boss. So I think you guys, I don't know, will like it. Maybe not. Maybe if you don't like it, then don't do this step. You know, it's your life. You can live it the way you want to, but this is how I'm doing my crease and it looks so sloppy when I do it right now but like when everything comes together it just doesn't look nearly as sloppy and I went a little heavy on the inner corner of my inside eye like I should have stayed more to the outside but I sort of clean it up with some of that chocolatey goodness I just showed so it's like the lightest color in there and I'm just sort of blending it to make it a little bit softer on the inside because I felt like it was a little harsh and harsh liney right there so it really helps a lot when you blend it out with that and um I had to add all of these clips in because you see how fucking stupid I look. Every clip, my mouth is, oh, oh. I literally look like a derpty. Oh, and why does my tongue stick out? Like, why does my tongue, oh, like, look at that. I look so stupid. Oh my God. But anyway, yeah, lining with the <laughs> <laughs> with those same colors on the bottom lash line and I'm extending kind of that bottom lash line out at, to be like a second wing you can kind of see on the bottom and then I'm going to follow that line with my black liner as you can see coming up here this is the blink ultra thin liquid eyeliner pen and um, see how I created that line before and I'm just sort of following that same line that I made I'm sort of meeting up with that dark part of the crease that I did at the top and you guys can do your wing liner any way that it works for you this is a new way that I'm doing it I used to use gel liner a lot and I really do love gel liner but I love this blink ultra thin eyeliner pen like I got this from Sephora I like I said before I don't remember how much this costs but it is such a good pen especially if you suck ass at doing liners like I do like I feel like I just I'm not that great at doing winged eyeliner but this makes it so much easier because it's ultra thin and it, it just moves like with the contours of your eye in a way that like makes it so much easier to do your winged liner. I think you guys will agree with me if you go buy it. I think you should at least try it. You can return it if you don't like it. That's what's cool about Sephora. You can return stuff if you don't like it. So yeah same thing on this side. I didn't feel it was like super necessary to show you as long of a clip. But I was super proud of myself when I got done with this. Like, both sides matched like a boss. Like, look at that. The fuck? Like, how does that ever even happen? I was quite proud of myself. As you can see, I'm, like, patting myself on the back right now. And uh, then I'm taking the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And I use my mascara first. And I do apply falsies. If you wanted to keep it directly what my Instagram showed, I did not wear false lashes on my Instagram. But... Um, I do apply a pair of falsies. These are like wispies. I think I just got them from Walmart. I don't even know what the brand is, but I apply them in a minute. Then I take the NYX Lip Liner in Vanilla Sky and then MAC Creme de Nude Lipstick and then two Jordana pencils. One of them is Cranberry Crush and the other one is Coral Crush or something. I'll put it in the description of this video because I, I don't have it in front of me right now. They smell bomb. They smell like, like crushed up raspberry. Like that one does at least. It smells so good. You guys don't even... No, it smells bomb. Okay, enough singing. That's pretty much it. Like after this, I just, I do apply falsies because it makes my eye look, look just like that much more bomb. And yeah, that's it. I hope you guys like this tutorial. It's really fun to film for you. And uh, yeah, enjoy that voiceover, baby. And like I said, if you guys have any video requests or tutorial requests, or if there's anything you're looking to see, Post it in the, in the comments of this video and uh, I'll try to answer it as best I can or film a video or do whatever you guys want me to do. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Awkward. Oh, cunts. <laughs>